This is uh, Brian Eno, and this is Fact TV. <laughs> Even when people expect a DJ set, they don't get a DJ set. I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not a DJ at all. There's no disc jockeying going on. There's a turntable. There's no. I mean, closest. I mean, there's a mixer and a computer. I'm I'm literally like clicking my mouse pad, uh, twisting knobs. Um, even if I did a analog set, there's no DJing going on. It's gonna be like the electron, the you know, like a, a lot of knob twisting. Earlier on, like, you know, uh, the crystal methods, like, I remember seeing that when I would come home from school in, like, seventh grade with the big nose break dancing and, and things like that. But i um, not saying that's hardcore, but it was at the time for me. Like, uh, I don't know, I've always been into it. It's just, it seemed like the right time to, um, to put it into, uh, to translate it, you know, and, and put it out. I actually got to speak with Goldie uh, recently. Um, it's pretty sick, pretty sick when I was in uh, LA. I, re I released a track called uh, Bloodline uh, recently, like a Lucy, like uh, just on my SoundCloud. And uh, we talked about that and um, just kind of build, uh, we were just building on things, you know, learning about certain, uh, certain pads and uh, certain techniques from uh, Jim, from Source Direct as well. It's cool. So talking to them, I mean, there was definitely a bunch of gray areas like, how did they get the pads to sound a certain way? How do they, you know, what, what 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 equipment were they using? How were they were they even using, you know, were they using software? They were, you know, logic, you know, yeah. magic, yep. things like that. Um, you know, and also uh, from our newer work, just getting outside of um, even working with instruments that you could purchase. Like a lot of the stuff I'm working with now, I've been making or uh, getting made. Max, the real Max, like MSP. Not Max for Live, I'm talking about Max. It doesn't even look pretty. It looks like a bunch of squares and uh, squares and cubes with random letters and numbers, you know. There's certain things you can't achieve on fucking, or on Ableton or on a, on a lot of software, like I, I mean, the Mini Brute. I just got, I just picked that up, and it's like, it's it's really hard to match something like that on a on a computer, like um, on a on a tamed like commercialized, uh, ready to ready to wear uh, software. You know, um, nothing against those. I use them all the time, but um, for certain sounds, certain hard hard powerful sounds on the newer works that I'm doing. Uh, it's definitely some uh, no name. I couldn't even tell you what it is. It doesn't. It really doesn't exist. You know. When I start my process, there's no, there's no, oh, I gotta start with the drums and they have to be clocked into this. Sometimes I don't even use the grid, I just loop and, and, and twist and whatever, you know? Or I might be on the SP uh, uh, triple five and just, you know, just keep it going, you know? Part of the reason I've been kind of holding off on work, doing a lot of hip hop works uh, this last past year is because you know, it's, it's too safe. It's like um, it's like going to the zoo and you can't feed the animals or whatever. But right now, I feel like I'm feeding the animals. Uh, there's a formula to the whole thing, and, and and when the people can predict the formula, like you know, but the majority of people, uh, I think, love predictable things. So 